do you like school? If I've got good lessons, yeah. <laughs> and if you haven't got good lessons? Um, I just kick it off for teachers. How did you describe Linda? She's quite mad. Quite nuts, to be honest. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, she, like, kicks off over anything she possibly can. But she's, like, the kind of friend I will always look out for, you know? Originally from the Czech Republic, Linda's family moved here seven years ago. I was thinking where am I going and that, but I was quite excited because it was the first time I've had an aeroplane. And when you came to England, could you speak English? No, but my brother learned and he forgot all the words. I copy him sometimes with his behaviour. I go, whoa, bruv, whoa, what are you doing here? <laughs> Florian, Linda's brother, has been involved in an incident in French. What's he done? Florian got a lighter out of Miriam's class and attempted to light the carpet. The thing with Florian, we're not sure how serious it is. Um, it could be so serious that it's a permanent exclusion. Um, it could be daft, dangerous behaviour in class where he's going to get the talent off of his life. We'll deal with the facts as they, they come to light, but Joe's going to try and find out more. As Florian's head of house, Mr Sage needs to get a full picture of events, so he interviews his classmates. He starts smoking a bit and then try and light the, the light up to the carpet. You're absolutely sure, yes? Oh, yeah. Junior, who was sat across the room, said, I saw him with a flame straight on the carpet. Did he want to set a fire to burn down our school? I don't think so. I don't think so either. But I believe that his behaviour was extremely dangerous. Um, I think that Florida has definitely earned a five-day exclusion with this this Joe. He, who did he grasp him up to? Watch now. Bro. Just watch now. Grasping up my brother. He'll have beef now. Do you know what Junior got? Junior. You, yeah. Why are you grasping up my brother for? Yeah, so make me what you want about. It's a major, is it? Yeah. Why did you grasp him up for? I didn't want to, but bare people grasped as well. Don't just Who else grasped him? Pardon my report. Bare people. Why did you grasp him up for? Yo, sir, yeah, I wanted on? to know the truth. I ain't gonna lie to a teacher. If he's excluded like... because if you watch who I'm oh. gonna get on your watch. Just watch out who why, I'm gonna Why are you get getting on, on me then? Is big people snitched on him as well? You it's your fault. It. How is it my fault? I think between siblings, one's behaviour can impact on another. If I find out he's excluded forever, what? It would be heartbreaking to see the potential for pupil like Linda lost to a certain extent. Sir, um, Junior's been grasping up my brother. Right, listen carefully, but you need to calm yourself down. He was talking Excuse about me. my brother. Linda, you need to calm yourself down, please. She's a very little girl with enormous potential who basically, at times, sits on the fork of either going to the left and being great or the right and being a complete disaster. Hello, miss. It's 8.50 on Thursday morning. Florian's five-day exclusion has ended and he's expected back at school. But his mum has arrived to speak to Mr Sage. Um, yesterday, he started up my mum, kicking off. Florian's mum has decided it would be better for him to spend the rest of the school year with his grandmother. What's up? As soon as I came out of assembly, Linda was waiting with her mum, who had clearly been crying. Florian last night it came back in a foul mood from school. She does not dance to school. She just she can't control him. She's um, what's she going to do? She and what can we do to she help her? Wants, well, she was saying, "I want to send him back to the um, Czech Republic." Just We're only scratching the surface, aren't we? Yeah, Joe. We can't stop his mum from moving in. Yeah. Learning wise, that's not the right thing for that lad. Sometimes some things with a kid's life's more important mm. um, than actually their education, and I think Florian's got to that stage with, with that. Maybe it's what will save Linda, though. Mm, that's what I was thinking that. Like, I didn't want to say it at the time, but I, that's what I was thinking. Focus on Linda. Okay. All right. All right? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. You tried everything. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Thanks. Thank you. Mum's made the decision that actually things with Florian at home have broken down so much that actually he's going to be sent back to the Czech Republic to live with his nan. 
I think stresses and things happening outside of school have a massive effect on students' behaviour. In fact, I think it's the single biggest contributing factor. There are more things to life sometimes than in education. Why are you upset for? I just want to go back home. Where, where is he at home, is he? <laughs> Lind, what's wrong? It's with Florian, is it? Yeah, I love. I have a brother, don't You will have a brother. You'll always have a brother. Yeah. I won't, though. He's going. Yeah, but you don't know yet, do you, Lev? He is, know. definitely. He's going at 3 o'clock with my mum. As the week unfolds, Linda's behaviour gets worse. Two choices there, Linda. You're going in there to sit down. You're coming to your I'm door. not going in that room. Linda. I'm not getting packed in Linda. that room. Linda. Oh, do you mind? Shut up, the both of you. Right, Linda, with me then, please. If I'm upset about family stuff, I'll be mouthy to teachers, even if they haven't done nothing to me. I'll stand my off. Are you shouting in Because here, with her attitude as well, she'll be able to but I don't really mean it because it's when I'm in the mood. When you're behaving in those ways, when you're shouting and you're hollering about things, I wish I could show you how that makes you look compared to that fantastic daughter that was there supporting your mum when your mum was so low. Linda, look at me. How's things at home at the, the moment? Quiet. Yeah. All right. Come on, come on. Oh. Shall I tell you this? I always feel like when we talk to you that there's a lot of us talking and sometimes not quite listening to exactly what you're saying. Would you write me a letter that just says to me exactly what you would like? I always think there's some thoughts in there that you don't quite tell us. But if you... If you... Oh. Oh, Joe. I think it's very common for, for some pupils to have real wobbles along the, the way. And especially if it's a child that's got low self-confidence and low self-esteem, that can knock them for six and actually make them get very, very stuck. And I think sometimes it's other people's belief in them that carries them forward, people like Mr Sage. Thanks to Mr Sage, I finally moved set. I don't really like being... On report. You've still got to keep, take responsibility yourself of having a report with you, OK? I yes. just need help with my anger. Look at me. Yeah. Linda, that's lovely. Well done on being honest, OK? Brilliant. I've got to take this back to Kerry. Our job is to manage them. We've got to try and manage their behaviour, and that's why you've got to try whatever you can. You're nice and calm now, OK? <coughs> Do me a favour, OK? Let's have ticks the rest of the day, please, OK? All right, good yeah. girl. As a reward for Linda's improved behaviour, the school has bought a Christmas present for her to send to Florian. But I thought if I wrap the present up for you, what we could do is pop the card on it so he'll get it in time for Christmas as a Christmas present for you, yeah. from you. Right, come on then, let's get it done. Right, can I leave Linda with you? Yeah, I'll make sure she gets back. What time is it? He's lovely, Mr Sage, isn't he? Yeah. Hey. Dear Florian, I miss you so much, but enjoy your Christmas and Happy New Year. I sat with Miss Ballard while I was writing this and she said, Happy Christmas. I have moved to top set finally. <laughs> Love, Linda. That's lovely. I think he'd be very proud to see to get that, don't you? Yeah. OK. Right, let's get it in the envelope then. My school's a very special place. We don't employ staff here who we don't believe can develop great relationships with young people. You know the song that we did last lesson, Stand By Me? And actually celebrate the fact that they're teenagers. Sometimes they'll be mouthy, sometimes they don't want to learn, sometimes they'll not do what we say their the first time. <laughs> Let's go.